Okay, let's get back into React. And I want to talk now about props. In React, this is how we can pass information from one component to another. Um, the last version that we did of this page, so my last tutorial on React, I was talking about building components and how we could do things like this, build a nav menu, build a story, and then nav links inside of the nav menu. Uh, I'll have a link to that video down in the uh, description and at the end of the video as well, but for now, just talking about these components, we can see I've got a series of nav links inside of a nav menu, and then I have three of these story objects, story components on my page. Now they're all doing the exact same thing, and that's really not that useful. I want to put some real data inside of here, but I'm going to do it in a way that I can set the information up at the top level. So my component story, I want to be able to pass some information to that. I want to be able to say, you know, here's the title, here's the ISBN number, here's the details of the story being passed in there so that it can be used on the web page. Same thing with the nav menu. I'd like to pass an array to the nav menu and say, okay, here's the links that I want you to build. So let's take a look at how to do that. Now remember, JSX is just JavaScript. So anything that we're writing here, this isn't HTML, this is JSX. So it's JavaScript. All right, I'm going to add a property inside of here called story title. I can add a property called ISBN, and I could add others as well, but I'm going to start with just these. And story title, I'm going to pass in, let's say, the Hobbit. And we can do things other than strings as well. If this were HTML, I could create properties like data-title, data-ISBN, and then I can put strings inside them. Because this is JavaScript, I can pass in objects, formulas, expressions, whatever I want. So we can say date.now. And just to make it a little different, I'll say divided by two, so that'll give me some unique value. Okay, I'll do story title again. Let's do green eggs and ham. And then I will add an ISBN number. And I don't want quotes, I'm going to do an expression. So I'll say date.now divided by 3 this time. And for the final one, all right, uh, to insult a mockingbird. Don't want to kill them, but uh, yeah, we'll insult a mockingbird. And ISBN number, again, no quotes, it's an expression. So date.now divided by 4, ah, well, we'll just make it 4. Okay, save that. Now, that recompiled, didn't do anything on our actual web page. We can see that it compiled just fine, but we want to see this stuff showing up in the stories. So let's go into this component story and see how we, we can access these props. These are just, they look like attributes that I've been made up, but they are props. So inside my story component, I will have something inside the this object called props and there will be one called story title and there will be one called ISPN because those were the names that I chose here story title and ISBN case sensitive there they are and if you have the react component or the React plugin installed in your browser as well, then you will be able to uh, open that up and take a look at the props. So just give me one second, I'm gonna open this up in a new window so that I can actually show you that. Here we are. So I've opened this up in a new browser window, so I've got the React de development tools, and it'll tell me, okay, you're using the development build, yeah. I did yarn start or npm start to get this running. So I will go into More Tools, Developer Tools, and this is where I will find React. So if I've installed the React Developer Tools, sure enough, there they are. So it connects to React, and I can take a look at our page and see what I've got inside of here. Here's the app, <coughs> pardon me, and inside of here there's Story, okay, wonderful, 
I click on that. Over on the side here, props, ISBN story title. So as I click on each one of these stories, those values change. And these are things that I have access to through this dot props. And it's all lowercase for props, unlike what's written here. Then I've got those values. So one is a number and one is a string. Now this isn't HTML, so I'm not stuck with just strings. I've got those numbers I can use. So inside of here, instead of doing this and this, I will put curly braces. And this is where I'm going to write out those values. Now I can put this directly inside here like that, or I can create variables like that, and then use that variable down here. If you've got a lot of props, this is probably the, the approach that you're going to want to take. This will be a lot easier for you to list the properties up here, or you can use um, the new deconstruct ability with JavaScript with ES6, and then extract all those different variables, and then use them down inside your code instead of having all the this.props throughout your code. All right, so I refresh that, and I come back in here, and there they are. There's my three titles. There's my numbers. Oh, I'm getting a not a number. Take a look at that one. No. Did I not pass through a number here? Oh, date.now is a method, not a property. There we are. Now we've got this fixed. Okay, so there we are. We have our ISBN numbers that we invented, the titles being passed through. Now let's do the same th sort of thing um, with the navigation menu, these four links that we have up top here. But I'm going to use an array this time. Let's come into nav link, or nav menu rather. This is my nav menu, and I'm going to create an array here with four objects inside of it. I will have a label property, and I will have a URL property. And that'll be for each one of these. So each one of my links. First one, home. And I'm just using the stuff that was down here in the comments. So home product services and contact us. What I'm writing isn't as important as the fact that I'm creating this object with this information inside of it. And I want to illustrate the point here that with HTML, once again, all you can do is pass strings. But because we're not writing HTML, we're writing JavaScript. That means I can pass objects from one place to the next. Inside of navlink, I could pass something called info. And that could be one of these objects. So I could say links number zero. That's going to be the info. Links sub zero is this object right here out of my array. So I'm passing that to this first one. So I put that in here and then change the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3. There. Now I'm passing these objects into the nav link components. Inside the nav link, there we are once again. So I could, if I wanted, access it directly. This.props.info. That was the first level. If we come back to nav menu, info is the name right here. And then info is this object. So I will say for the href dot URL over here inside the curly braces because it's an expression. This dot props dot info dot label save. Come back in here and there we are. Now I've not done a great job styling this page. It doesn't fit in the small space, but home product services contact us. There they are. And if I click on one of these, sure enough, products, services, contact, those are what's being passed through as the URL. So that's it. That is
crops. That's how you pass information from one component to the next. It's just important to remember that as you're passing this information from one component to the next, you can only pass it down through the components. So here I'm in app and I'm passing something down to the story. I could pass something from app to nav menu. From nav menu, I can pass this down to nav link, but I can't pass things back up the other way. Now we're going to get ta talking a little bit later about uh, providers and how we can access something back up at the top level. But for now, just think of it as this cascade, kind of like CSS. You start at the top level component and then pass things down. And you're attaching the information like this to the components where it makes sense. My nav menu, well, it makes sense to have my links inside the nav menu component. All right, so that's it. That is components. Um, I will update or I'll create some new gists. These are the uh, the old links for the old version. I'll create some new ones for this to show the uh, props so you can work with that. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.